Titanic was racing through the night, full steam ahead. Her owners, White Star Line, were trying to make headlines with an exceptionally fast crossing, even though they had been warned about icebergs. Hard to starboard! Hard to starboard! Hard to starboard eye! When the fatal berg was first seen, Titanic was heading straight for it at nearly 25 miles per hour. The lookout's warning averted a head-on, but the 46,000-ton ship struck the iceberg a glancing blow. It was not a huge hole that started the Titanic sinking, but a series of splits in the steel plating that let in enough water to overwhelm the ship. Titanic was built with a series of watertight chambers. She was designed to survive the flooding of the two forward compartments, or any four others. But the iceberg opened the front five, and Titanic was doomed. went down by the bow, the nearly 900-foot-long ship broke its back. The bigger front section went down first, dragging the stern of the ship completely vertical, before tearing itself free and going down like a torpedo, ripping off most of the superstructure. It's estimated that during the freefall, the front of the ship picked up a speed of more than 20 knots, about the same speed as when Titanic hit the iceberg. The bow plowed into the ocean floor, embedding itself 62 feet. And it's here Cameron and his team will focus their exploration.